Hi students, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about mutual inductance of two coaxial solenoids. Let us consider two solenoids, namely S1 and S2. The current in the solenoid 1 is I1, current in the solenoid 2 is I2. Number of turns in the solenoid 1 is N1, number of turns in the solenoid 2 is N2. The length of the solenoid is same for both solenoids and area of cross section A is also same for both solenoids. Now, the magnetic field, the magnetic field produced by solenoid, solenoid S1 carrying current I1 and having number of turns N1 is B1 is equal to mu naught N1 I1. Next, the magnetic flux linkage with the solenoid S2 is pi to 1 is equal to B1 into A. That is the magnetic field which is produced in solenoid 1 is linked with solenoid 2. So, we can write phi 2 1 is equal to B 1 A which is equal to phi 2 1 which is equal to mu naught N 1 I 1 into A. Now, mutual inductance mutual inductance of solenoid S2 with respect to S1 is M21 is equal to phi21 into number of turns N2 divided by current in the first solenoid. Here, N1 is equal to small n1 into L, N2 is equal to small n2 into L. That is, N1, small n1 is equal to total number of turns per unit length. Small n2 is equal to total number of turns in the secondary coil divided by L. That is, number of total number of turns per unit length. So, by substituting we get N2 is equal to capital N2 is equal to small n2 into L. So, N2 into L into phi 2 1 is replaced by mu naught N1 I1 into A divided by I1. By cancelling the similar terms Finally, we get mu naught N1 N2 into A into L is the mutual inductance of solenoid 2 with respect to 1 which is given by M21 is equal to mu naught N1 N2 A into L. In the same way, we can derive 
the mutual inductance of solenoid 1 with respect to solenoid 2 that is M12. For this we can write the magnetic field produced by solenoid S2 carrying current I2 and having number of turns N2 is given by B2 is equal to mu naught into N2 into I2. Now the magnetic magnetic flux linkage with the solenoid S1 with respect to S2 is phi 1 2 is equal to B2 into A. By substituting B2 value we get phi 1 2 is equal to mu naught into N2 into I2. Now the mutual inductance of coil 1 that is solenoid S1 with respect to solenoid coil S2 is M12 is equal to phi 12 into N1 divided by I2. By substituting phi 12 value in this expression, we get N1 into mu naught N2 into I2 divided by I2. We already know that N1 is equal to small n1 into L. By substituting we get n1 into L into mu naught n2 into I2 divided by I2. By cancelling similar terms we get M12 is equal to mu naught n1 n2 into L into A. We have already derived the mutual inductance of solenoid 2 with respect to solenoid 1 as M21 is equal to mu naught into N1 N2 A into L. Similarly, the mutual inductance of solenoid S1 with respect to S2 is M12 is equal to mu naught into N1 N2 L into A. From these two expressions, we can write M12 is equal to M21, which is equal to capital M, whose value is equal to mu naught N1 N2 into L into A. This is the final expression for the mutual coefficient of mutual inductance of two coaxial solenoids. Okay, thank you.